Hello again, I'm Sean Stryker. It is 8.55, 68 degrees. Tim, you're up. Take oh, it away. Well, hey, I can do this one. <laughs> it's uh, some blue out there through those clouds. We do have some clouds out there, so we're calling it a partly cloudy day. We'll have some sun out there through the afternoon. Temperatures stay in the mid 80s, low humidity, so a pretty comfortable afternoon. Christy Breslin, how's that final check on your road shaping up? Well, Tim, it's a bit of a struggle still on the Beltway. At least it's Friday, though. The west side outer loop still very heavy there from Harford Road past Delaney Valley. Average speed only about 30 miles per hour. But the good news is the crash on the west side inner loop of the Beltway at Southwestern Boulevard, that's all cleared out. Now 95, a couple of issues there. Southbound 95 at 543, a crash there. This is really going to slow you down some construction. Southbound 95 after Mountain Road blocking the two right hand lanes. So if you want to avoid that, take Route 40, Route 7. Either one of them is going to be a lot. Quicker. 175 at Ridge Road, a crash there, and we also have the medical emergency northbound 95 at 32. Sean? Christy, thank you. Happening today, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott is set to roll out his comprehensive violence prevention plan. He will hold a three part series of events across the city to reflect the three pillars outlined in the plan. The mayor's office calls it a first of its kind public safety strategy. Mayor Scott says this marks the beginning of a five year process towards building a safer Baltimore.